Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for October 1st or right around the 1st. This reading is not sign specific. It's really not time specific either, but I, you know, lately I feel like these are really happening sooner to the date that I record them. You know how things change, but I just, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really concerned about the battery dying as well on my camera. I don't know why it's fully charged, but I've looked at it several times and I keep thinking my camera is going to die. So I don't know. Um, I don't know where that's coming from. I've checked the, the battery several times. It's full. We'll just see what happens. Um, seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. So it looks like somebody is thinking about relocating. They're thinking about what they're investing in. Thinking if it's even worth it. Um, looks like it's time to go someplace else. He's got a shovel in his hand. Um probably going to probably got all you can get from this situation whatever it is it's it's probably time to you know uh take what you got and go all right because it's like it's uh looks like there's there's not going to be any more growth because it's going to get cold out soon it's going things are about to get cold okay so things are about to get cold Queen of Cups reversed. Absolutely, things are about to get cold. Hmm, interesting. So the Queen of Cups reversed is an individual. does not have to be a water sign. It can be anybody that has gone cold. This is somebody that is withdrawn. Somebody that isn't communicating. This is somebody who is shutting down emotionally. It's a very emotional time. So this person tends to retreat. may not be able to master emotions and goes cold, right? Mm -hmm. Ten of Wands Reverse. Now, Ten of Wands Reverse is really good. It's better than in the upright. That's freeing yourself. This is making a conscious change to drop something. So somebody is making a conscious change to drop something, and it is emotional. It's emotional to let go of something that you have been holding on to. Absolutely. This we have somebody here that's really been thinking about it. Is it worth it? Really overwhelmed with the feelings that they have to let this go. I gotta let this go. And it's overwhelming that you have to let it go, right? It is. It hurts. It's painful. <clears throat> Page of Wands reverse. Somebody's been dealing with a Debbie Downer, for sure, with the Queen of Cups and the Page of Wands reverse. This is an energy of negativity, pessimism, uh, probably laziness, uh, poor woe is me, poor, poor, pitiful me. This person probably does not have anything good to say about another person because, you know, this person may be in a state of escapism and, you know, they're loathing. Um, because they gotta let go, and it hurts. So yeah, we got some, we got some, some uh, heaviness that it, this, this baggage that is being released, and it's, it's not easy. It's definitely not easy. Um, there's a, there's a level of, of confusion. Okay, there is, there is. But there's probably another opportunity. Four of Cups reverse. There's another opportunity waiting. Um, it's time to let go of the stagnation. It's time to let go of this isolation and be loved. So I feel like we have somebody here that is is releasing. Yes, somebody is releasing. They 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 know that it's time. It's like they know that it's time. They probably were with somebody that wasn't well suited for them and they probably, you know, have been holding on to it obviously for a, a long time. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Pentacles reversed is somebody that is stubborn. It's very stubborn. 
possessive, jealous, materialistic. This person can also, it doesn't have to be an earth sign. This could be the same person. This could also be, I mean, this could be the same person that is not mastering their emotions and being very possessive over somebody, somebody or something that they're holding. This is a very, this is kind of obsessive. The Queen of Cups reversed and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. If this is one person, this is like an obsession. Really, really, really holding on to something. <laughs> that is not well suited for you. The Page of Wands reversed is something that is not well suited for you and there is another opportunity. And this is realizing, the Four of Cups reversed is realizing there is another opportunity. It's time to look forward now. So somebody is realizing that it's time to look forward now. It's time to pack up. It's time to invest my time and energy someplace else. You know, this situation has grown, grown cold. It's time for me to, you know, plant my seeds someplace else. Six of Wands reversed. So, this is lack of lack of progress, lack of success, right? Somebody hasn't been able to make something successful. You can't. She's got the the Queen of Pentacles. That's she's the Ace of Pentacles in her hand. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles is a card of manifestation. You can't manifest a name. You can't manifest the past to come back. You can't make it happen. You can't. And there's a lot of people that think they can, but you can't. You cannot. So, there's a lack of progress and somebody has been reluctant to move forward. Lack of self-respect. But now they're making a conscious change to drop it. This is dropping that goal, dropping that. It is dropping that opportunity. That is dropping. And this is going to fall out. It's going to fall. It's, gonna, it's falling away right now. You can't fight gravity. You can't fight what is meant to be. Or what isn't meant to be. You can't fight it. So I think we have somebody here that is, you know, unfortunately, with the Queen of Cups reversed, having to accept that it's time to really go someplace else. Five, put themselves back in the game. That's five of wands. Get out there. Have some fun. Put yourself back in the competition. And go out there and play. These people are playing a game. It's time to be happy again. So we have somebody here that is basically shifting. They are shifting from holding on to a situation that has no victory in success, that hasn't been able to progress any further. They've held on to it. They probably have held on to it for a couple of reasons. First of all, they were probably in love. And it was stable. It was solid at one point. It was comfortable. Probably it made them happy at one time. And that's why they held on. It's hard. It's really, 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 really hard to let go of something when there's no more success there. There was at one time. At one time it was happy. At one time it was growing. When when it when it dies, like when the camera dies, <laughs> when the battery fuck. That's what that is too. When the battery dies, what do you gotta do? You gotta put in another one. You gotta get another one. And that is what we got here. This is another opportunity, the Four of Cups reversed. This is seizing and seeing another opportunity. There's competition here. This is a game. It's time to put yourself back in the game and be happy again. It's a time for renewal. It's time to live. Okay. 
We have somebody here that has been very, very stressed. Not realizing that there is big, big, big love to be had. This is big love to be had. And somebody hasn't been seeing it. They have not been seeing it because they were holding on to something. But in the very near future, even though you don't see it, for those of you that have made the... This is making the conscious change. This is for... Somebody has made the, the decision to let it go. For the, If you are the person that is watching this that has made the decision to let it go, to let go of the obsession, to let go of investing your time and energy on this cold situation. You got big love coming. This is in the future. And you probably couldn't see it for so long. And you may be worried that you are never going to be loved again. That nobody is going to respect you. That nobody is going to recognize you. But that is not true. That is not true. Because there is big love to be had. This is a new opportunity for love. Okay, there is. The worst is over. It's the end of suffering. The Ten of Swords, that is the end of suffering. It's the end of pain. It's the end. That is a death. It's the end of the conflict that somebody was holding on to. It's the end of discontent, discontent and boredom. It's the end of not realizing that there's an opportunity for happiness. Somebody is about to burst into somebody's world. Okay, this is bursting in. This is a burst. Page of Swords. Somebody's been watching on the sidelines. Page of Swords. This is somebody who has been observing. They've been watching. And, and like I said, I, think they, I said they were going to burst before I even pulled this card. This guy, this person is about ready to, it's just like pounce. This person is about to pounce. You, somebody is going to receive communication from somebody. This person is very curious. This person uh, is about to step into the picture. They are. Very, 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 very soon. Very soon. Okay, so this is this is your burst, okay? This is the, the Knight of Swords and the page. This is your burst. This is somebody rushing in. Probably a Le could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be a Leo. Oh my God, this is a dream come true. Nine of Cups, this is a dream. You are going to be, this is, for whoever the person is that have has found the strength to let go, that is what this card is. Whoever the person is, this reading will not resonate with everybody because there's a lot of people that are still holding on to a dead end. But for the, this person, I know that this reading is for a specific amount of people. There is some people this reading is not for, and that is very clear to me. We have some people that are still holding on. They are. They're still holding on, and they're obsessed. That's true. They're just still in thinking mode. They're still wondering, should I keep doing this, you know? So yes, we have some people that are still thinking about it. But we all progress at different levels. Then we have some people that have consciously dropped it. For those of you that have made the conscious decision to let go of the baggage and the past and the obsession and, the, and found their self-respect... There's, there's a dream. This is a wish fulfillment. This is some, an opportunity coming in. This is going to make you very happy. You're going to be like, oh my God. That's what this is. This is like, wow. Aha! Look what I got.
Nine of cups plus one of cup <laughs> plus one of cup plus ace of cups is ten of cups. Happiness, a new relationship, new love. So if you are single and you are watching this and you have completely let go, that means you are no longer looking back. You have somebody. This is somebody coming in very, very soon, very quickly. Probably an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. Whoever this person is, this person, when they see something, they go after it. They don't just sit around and, and uh, think about it, okay? They do it. They do it. This person is very, very matter of fact. It's like, I want it. If they want it, if they like you, they will ask you out on a date immediately. Immediately. Somebody may get asked out on a date. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> you know, upon meeting this person. So, anyway, um... There is something bright coming in. I think this is going to happen um, very suddenly. The Knight of Swords is a very sudden, it's very sudden, okay? A sudden new opportunity for love. For whoever this person is that has dropped something that they were holding on to. For the rest of you <laughs> that are still thinking about it, you know, there's some sort of obsession here. Somebody is obsessed with a situation that has gone cold. And you need to find your inner strength, seriously, to let it go. If there's no victory and success and there's no progress being made, you are blocking yourself from being loved. So anyway, there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment to have it all. And I think that there's somebody is going to be... Uh, somebody's going to be arriving, okay? Somebody's going to be arriving, like, <laughs> out of thin air, okay? Um, this person has probably had their eye. They've probably had their eye on you, or you've had, I think it's they've had their eye on you. Um, I feel as though this person is going to make whoever they're, they're going after, it's, it's, it's going to, it's basically going to light up their world. It's going to be like, wow, I am so glad that I let that go. That's what I feel. I'm so happy. It's like, wow, you know, this person seems to be right in their glory. Smug. Huh? <laughs> Look what I got. Look what I got that kind of energy. So it's the end of conflict. It's the end of tension. Somebody has decided to put themselves back out in the game. Or I just heard uh, 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 there's, there's a new competitor. There's a new, com and I was going to say there's a new competitor in town. That's what I was going to say. There's a new competitor in town. So I don't know if this person has just moved to your area or you have moved to a new area, but that's what I just heard. Or the competition is about to arrive. Be prepared for something severe. This is, the Knight of Swords is very sudden. Sudden happiness. Some, and this is a sudden message. So somebody is going to receive a message. At like, And I think this message is coming from somebody that you don't know. You don't, they're not, you don't know who this is, okay? The, the high priestess in reverse is like, you, can, you can't predict it. You, is, you know, you can't. This is, this is something you didn't see coming. So, I feel as though the worst is absolutely over. I think if you have been worried, especially if you're single and you've been worried that uh, nobody is going to love you and nobody's going to come in, you are absolutely wrong. Okay, somebody is going to come in. If you are single and you are desperately holding on to something that has gone cold, you have to heal. You have to heal first. If 
for the person that has put in effort to heal and release, this is a wish being granted. I'm not kidding. Let's get an angel romance card just for the heck of it. We could have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I see Leo. I see Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I see Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So we absolutely have everybody. But I feel as though we we have these these people that have been holding on. Okay, we, we definitely have somebody up here that has been holding on needlessly to somebody that wasn't well suited for them. Loathing. Stubborn. Feeling rejected, feeling like they were the victim, not realizing that this all happened for a reason. There's the reason why things change. There's a reason why there's fallouts. There's a reason why things go cold because there's usually something better. But people get caught up in fantasy and they hold on to that fantasy. Anyhow somebody is making a conscious change or they have made a conscious change to let go of an obsession they have done a lot of healing they have gone through some sort of rebirth and it's like all of a sudden this is all of a sudden here comes somebody that can make you really happy so somebody is coming in suddenly okay this person has no fear this person has been watching and they like what they see. And they are not going to waste a minute. Trust me. Because they know there's probably some competition as well. They see this bright opportunity and they know bright opportunities. They don't go unnoticed. What do we got? Okay. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And if you haven't freed yourself, it's about time you do. It's time to take back control of your life. Good luck.